breaking news and new details in that brutal attack in a park in Queens. A boy and a girl, both 13 years old, were in Casino Park after school yesterday when the suspect, armed with a knife, forced them into a wooded area. He tied them up and then sexually assaulted the young girl. Now, just a short time ago, police released this sketch of the suspect, and they are now offering a $10,000 reward. I would as news reporter Josh Einiger is live at the park with the very latest on this extremely disturbing story, Josh. Liz, it's almost hard to believe this actually happened, but it did. And police have now set up a watch here, basically 24-7 along Colden Street here in Flushing, not just to assist in the search for the suspect whose picture you're looking at. This is a sketch provided by the victim to police, at least a description that they created into a sketch. But they are also here to try to set the neighborhood at ease that they are not going to allow anything like this ever to happen again. We have another sketch we could show you. This is a picture, an image, of the very distinctive tattoo the victim reported was on the chest of her attacker yesterday afternoon. It's either a boar or a pig with red eyes. These are very distinctive characteristics that this suspect has. Police say they are confident someone knows who he is. They searched every inch of Casino Park today, and then they searched it again. An army of police racing to find a child rapist whose crime has even hard-boiled cops boiling mad. We will leave no stone unturned until we bring this monster into justice. They're working in the thick brush of this usually quiet park, where yesterday two 13-year-olds, a girl and a boy, had gone to play soccer, but found themselves face-to-face -face with a predator. That male demanded that they both follow them into the woods. When they refused, the male told him, shut up, in English. He then produced and displayed a large machete-style knife. The children were forced, at knife point, to follow him into a secluded area of the park, where he tied the boy and girl's wrists together with a shoelace. Then he sexually assaulted the girl as the boy watched, stole their cell phones, and fled. Police today flooded this astonished community in a usually quiet corner of Flushing, papering the neighborhood with posters as they plead with the public for help. We will spare no expense and we will, we will use every investigative resource and in, again implore the help of the community to help us bring closure to this case for these young children and for this family. We're going to show you another image. This is the sketch generated by police based on a description of the suspect. Uh, this man is described as being in his 20s. He has curly hair. He has braces on his teeth. He has that very distinctive tattoo on his chest. And he was last seen wearing a black shirt and pants, red sneakers, and carrying a green backpack. Investigators are hoping people in this area who have ring cameras or other surveillance equipment might look back at around 4 or 5 o'clock yesterday afternoon and see if they see someone matching this description and if so they are hoping that those people will then contact police or of course if you know who he is in any other way please they are asking call crime stoppers at 1-800-577-tips again a ten thousand dollar reward right now available to people who help catch and convict this child predator the search continues throughout the night we are live here in flushing queens josh Einiger, channel 7 eyewitness news